The University of Texas at Austin roiled by the news that a state law banning diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts in higher ed would result in dozens of job losses. Roughly 60 staff members who previously worked in DEI roles at UT Austin were given layoff notices this week. Instead, funds from DEI initiatives are going to be redirected to teaching and research. That's according to the university's president. But the NAACP and the American Association of University Professors said in a statement that these terminations were retaliation against employees who had held DEI positions. Notably, students of color make up more than half of UT Austin's student population. And earlier this year, several cultural programs and identity groups on campus lost all of their university funding. Now, while all of this is happening, we are also seeing black students flocking to HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities. And that includes one led by my next guest. Joining me now is Spelman College President Helene Gale. Uh, President Gale, thank you for joining us tonight. When you see what is happening in Austin and in all these other states that have similar laws that have been passed, how concerned are you about the effect on higher education in this country? Yeah, so um, on one hand, as you said, we are getting record applications. So it's good, you know, from that standpoint, it's good for us. On the other hand, for the country, for our nation, it's bad. It is awful that our nation is saying that diversity no longer matters. And so, you know, it's a good news, bad news story, if you will. We have to, you know, if we think about where we are going to be as a nation um, over the next 30, 40 years, we must think about how are we making sure that all of our children get the opportunity to have the right education that fits for them. Um, you know, as, as a president of an HBCU, of course, we understand that more and more students are coming to us because they feel safe, they feel they are nurtured, they feel that they um, are able to express who they are as, as individuals, and that's great. But, you know, uh, we can't take all the students in, yeah. in the nation, and we have to think about what does it mean to, to retrench from something that is, you know, important to who we are as a nation. Yeah, I mean, in some ways, the students are voting with their feet. It's not just Spellman that's seeing this. Spellman was up 13% just in the last year, but totally. a bunch of other HBCUs are seeing increases. And it's also not just these anti-DEI laws, it's also that really critical affirmative action decision at the Supreme Court. What are you hearing from your incoming students about why they are choosing HBCUs now in this moment of so much uh, cultural backlash? So it's a chilling effect. So our students are feeling like we want to go someplace where people want us. Mm. They want to be someplace, you know, and we're a very selective in in institution. The same students who come to Spelman could go to, I won't list all the, the names of, you know, elite schools in America, but they are, they are the best and the brightest and they could go to any school in America. And they are saying, it matters to me to be at a school where I am going to be nurtured, where I am going to be appreciated, where who I am is valued, where I look up and see people who look like me, who have achieved a lot. And that means something to them because they know they're gonna go out to workforce where that's not gonna be the case, but they will learn here how to value who they are and be able to hold their own any place in America. And not only in America, we're a more global society anywhere in the world. 
Yeah, I, I know yeah. I know quite a few Spelman grads, so I, I know exactly what you're referring to there. I, I do, <laughs> I do want to ask you, uh, I want to play this for you. This is um, from The Breakfast Club's Charlemagne the God, but he was on The Daily Show, and he had this to say about DEI in the workplace last night. Listen. The truth about DEI is that although it's well-intentioned, it's mostly garbage. OK, it's kind of like the Black Little Mermaid. Just because racists hate it doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> and you know I'm right, because every one of you has sat through one of those diversity training sessions and thought, this is some bullshit. In fact, maybe the only thing that DEI has accomplished is giving racist white people cover to be openly racist. I, I wanted to get your reaction, because it's not, he's not isolated in his views on that. Probably a lot of people feel that way. What's your reaction? Yeah, well, you know, I think um, calling anything a label, DEI, you know, it's become um, a label. And people are not thinking beyond what does that really mean? Uh, there is no question that when you were brought to America as enslaved people, there is a real difference between what our fate is, how we have um, been allowed into American society, and the reality that there needs to be some way of thinking about how do you make sure that we are making up for um, you know, the, the core basis and reality. Call it what you want. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you cannot say that being brought here as enslaved individuals 400 years ago, building America, and then being denied the very um, opportunities that America, uh, that America says it allows each individual, there's not some, some dialogue there. Yeah. We have to have the dialogue. I don't care what you call it. But I think we have to have that dialogue. Yeah, and that's it's such a fair point. It's not it's not about the acronym. It's about what it's supposed to be, uh, what's supposed to signify. Right. Spelman College President Dr. Helene Gale, thank you very much for joining us tonight. My pleasure. Thanks for doing all that you do. Thank you.